Ghana's Educational Express Social Studies Lesson Cruise Ships. In this lesson, learners will be able to explain why cruise ships are important to the Bahamas, state the ports where cruise ships come from, state the ports where cruise ships dock in the Bahamas, and name some of the places on a cruise ship. Vocabulary, floating hotel, cruise ship, accommodation, harbor, wharf, facilities, port. The importance of cruise ships. Cruise ships are vital to the tourist industry of the Bahamas. Approximately 70% of our visitors arrive by cruise ships. Who benefit from cruise ships? Many people, straw vendors. We all depend on business from cruise ships. The jet ski operators, people at the restaurant at Fish Fry, the straw vendors. Where do cruise ships sail from? Most cruise ships come from ports such as Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Port Canaveral. Where do cruise ships dock when they get in the Bahamas? Cruise ships dock at these ports in the Bahamas. Prince George Wharf in Nassau, Grand Bahama Harbor in Grand Bahama. Prince George Wharf, Grand Bahama Harbor, There are also other places that cruise ships stop while in the Bahamas. Cruise lines are also docked off the coast of Keys. These keys are Castaway Key, Adgora Key, Coco Key, Little Star Key, and Half Moon Key. Why do people travel on cruise ship, you may ask? Well, it is a glamorous way of life. However, cruise ship passengers usually stay for just a few days. A cruise ship is a floating hotel. It has all the attractions and facilities of a hotel or a resort. Ready, set, let us sail. As you embark on a cruise ship, the first place you will, stay, you will stop will be at the front desk. That is where you will register and sign in and you will be given your cabin keys. Next, you will then go on the elevator that will take you to the floor your cabin is located. You are in your cabin, wow. Here is another look of the types of cabins. You can go and exercise. There is food all the time. You can get a buffet 
or you can sit down and eat. Then you can go on the deck and sun, swim in the pool and do many types of activities. Here, children are not left out. There is the activity room for children. The casino. The casino is open for those who like to use it. Spa. If you want a pamper day, you can go and get a nice spa treatment. Dancing. You can have dancing in the afternoon, in the night time. If you are sick, there is the infirmary, which is the medical facilities. There are doctors and nurses on staff. Here, you will notice that there are lifeboats on the cruise ship. The importance of cruise ship passengers. Cruise ship passengers are important to the family islands because they bring tourists. It is not necessary, however, to build expensive hotels because tourists, they only stay for a few hours on the family islands. Cruise ship passengers come for sightseeing, gambling, and nightclub entertainment. They may buy a few souvenirs, but they do not usually spend as much money as tourists who come by air. Looking back on what you learn. Let's look at question one. Why is it not necessary for family islands to have expensive hotels for cruise ships? Pause the video and choose your answer. Okay, what is the answer? Passengers only stay for a few hours. Passengers have their own homes or passengers don't like to come off the ship. Which one? That's right, they only stay for a few hours. Two, a cruise ship is one, Discovery Cruise, Floating Hotel, or National Airline. Which is it? It is a floating hotel. Three, what would not be found on a cruise ship? A, a gym, B, classrooms, C, swimming pools, or D, casinos? Answer, correct, classrooms. Four, name one port cruise ship not come from, Miami, Grand Bahama Harbor, Fort Lauderdale, or Port Canaveral. Which one? That's right, they do not come from Grand Bahama Harbor. Which is not one port in the Bahamas? Grand Bahama Harbor, Port Canaveral, or Prince George Wharf? Which one? That's right, 
Port Canaveral. Name two reasons why people use cruise ships. It is glamorous, have room to sleep, exciting way of life, or to relax. That's right, cruise ships are glamorous and it's an exciting way of life. Give the difference between the cruise ship and air passengers. Passengers usually stay for just a few days. Passengers spend little money. Passengers spend more money. Passengers stay a long time. Which ones? That's right, they stay for a few days and they spend little money. This has been your lesson on cruise ships.